Welcome back to KKND2 Crossfire. Welcome back to the Series 9 campaign and the second mission, Driving Miss Daisy. Unit 21. Our conversion from agriculture to military is almost complete and in time to test against the newly discovered subterranean humans. The nukes of their ancestors destroyed our crops and our livelihood. All humans will pay. Here's a chance to exact that payment. Guide a response bot back to our base through an old area of ours. Use our old repair bays, destroy all humans. They are many, but you are big. You do the math. All right, and this time we go up against the survivors, like this guy here, who didn't survive. Yeah, the, the commanding officer we have there, he, he kind of reminds me of one of those, basically like a toy, like a set of blunt needles. You could put it like your hands, your face against it, and it forms like a funky shape on your side. It kind of looks like that. Or like the, like the machine face from the third Matrix film, which of course came out after this game here. So we got ourselves a promotion. Let's get ourselves uh, fixed here. Don't really need you anymore. Let's just sell you. And let's destroy, let's destroy these folks. Full promotion. So the humans have a base here. Yeah, you know what? Kill you here first. So maybe destroy their, their tanker here. So it doesn't appear they can replace that one. Unless they build another power station, but the eye doesn't really work like that. But let's do that. We're not going to destroy the entire base, which you could do, but it would just take forever with this guy, especially if they start building engineers and then fix the barracks. Yeah. But we can destroy the tanker here because the tanker is really not that strong. And our Imperial probe right here is, is decent enough against vehicles. All right, all right. Almost done. Build one more guy here. That's fine. Come on. There we go. Okay. There goes your economy. We could probably do it without the repair base, but it's the first mission, so things are a little bit more, more lenient. And yeah, this is another very narrow urban map. They like to do this with these urban maps. There's a couple of those. I think in the Survivor campaign, I don't think in the Evolve campaign, that are very narrow. I guess in the city that makes a certain amount of sense. Yeah, or at least you could argue it does. So let's move further south. It's a very narrow, but also fairly large map vertically. Okay. Nope, that's a dead end. Good thing this car hasn't parked sideways. Otherwise, we would never be able to get past that. There we go. Let's destroy you here first. Turbulence, you probably don't really need the repair base. I'm pretty sure the humans can't really get past like even one of these these bots here. At least not when when you fight them like one by one. Yeah, okay. Okay, let's continue. Yeah, this keep this this map here keeps going. It's more oil here. And more riflemen. Let's get going. Yeah, notice if you go into fighting mode, it seems like units they move in a little bit too close, or at least closer than necessary. At least that what it, that's what it feels like. Okay, and there we go. Yeah, there was actually over part time. I thought we would have to destroy the base afterwards as well, but it seems we really just need to make our way through. In that case, you can probably just click on the southernmost part of the map. I don't think the, the human entry can actually stop you. Oh, well. Thanks for watching and see you next time.